We're at Home Depot. We're gonna do a Samsung service call. So what you need to do is just introduce yourself to the manager. Just let them know you're representing Samsung and you're here to get some pictures of the display that was damaged and see if there's anything you can do to bring it back to order. The first thing we need to do is check in. So I've told the manager that I need to check in from the store. So you can see right here, I have the phone number I call. So just get on the phone and dial 91 first. You have to dial 91 to get out. Then just dial the 877 number. Follow the directions on the prompt, which is you're gonna have to enter this IVR pin number. Once you enter the pin, it will ask you if you wanna check in. Obviously, press one for yes. And how many technicians are on site it will confirm that you're checked in and you're good to go you'll also want to repeat that process to check out the samsung tuscan display as you can see right here you're going to get some pictures of the damage and you can see what happened we got hit by a forklift so there's no salvaging this so we will just let them know it needs to be replaced yeah. all right so we're going to get some pictures to get back to Samsung and let them know what needs repair. Make sure that you get the entire display in the picture. So I want you to look right here. We have the whole display top to bottom in focus. I've cleaned my lens. Give them a good photo. You're gonna take one from the right. Step back, get one from the center. Make sure the whole thing is in the picture. and then step over and get one from the left. And then on your completion report, you'll simply let them know the refrigerator and the header. Okay, so we've determined that there's no way that we can fix the Samsung display. You will just come back to the phone, log back into your Samsung the same way you checked in and you'll just check out. Make sure that you get a manager's name and a signature on your sign-off sheet. Right there, just get a manager's name and signature. Now how I do that is with Adobe fill-in sign. So I go right here. I'm gonna add from my camera roll and I'm gonna look for that sign-off. It's gonna scan it. If it was not the whole display, I would do the crop and make sure that you have the whole thing in frame. But ours is, so we hit done. We simply go to the manager's printed name. Montez, 145. Montez, 145. Create a signature. And when I go up to the manager, I'm simply going to give this up to him. I'm not going to go through anything else. I'm just going to get this all ready. And I'm going to go, hey, we're out of here. There's nothing we can do. I got the pictures I needed. Can I get your signature? He'll sign this. I hit done. And I go in the car and I fill the rest in. Okay. So it's the easiest way to get a signature. You can take your time in the car and fill in the rest of the information. But just make sure if you do that, that you get his first and last name before you leave the store.